Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are healthy, happy and amazing. I'm your teacher and today I will teach you lesson number 5 for all to use. Page number 25 and 26. For this you need to open your books on page number 25 and let's get started. Before starting the lesson, I will teach you keywords and its meanings. Keywords are the unfamiliar words in the lesson and their meanings provided will help you better understand it. So the first keyword is community. All the people living in one place form a community. Neighbors. The people who live near your house are known as your neighbors. Citizens. The people of a country are called its citizens. Services. Services are the facilities provided to the people of the country by its government. Private. Things that belong to or for the use of a particular person. Public. Things that are for all to use or that we share with others. Tax. It is the money given to the government by the people living in the country. Government. The group of people with the authority to govern or rule a country. Explanation of the lesson will be done now. So what is a community? All the people living in one place form a community and it can be of different sizes. You belong to many different communities. The family home that you live in is a small community where you live with your mother, father, your brothers and sisters. This is your family community. Now let's discuss a bit bigger community you belong to. That is class or school community where you both learn and play with your fellows and you spend half of your day at school in your class. Social community. You and your fellow students and friends learn and play together and become a part of a social community. A social community is a group of people that you enjoy spending time with like your friends so you and your friends both are part of a social community. Neighborhood community. Now, when we come out of our house, we see some other houses and buildings around us. The people living in these houses are our neighbors. We live together with our neighbors in a community. They may live in the same area or very close nearby. So remember, the people who live near your house are your neighbors and you all form a neighborhood community. We should live in harmony with our neighbors and build a healthy community. The community can be a village, a town or a city and all the people living together in a form of a community in a country are its citizens. We all live in Pakistan, so we are Pakistani citizens. Services. To understand it, let's first understand the concept of sharing. Things shared with family. There are certain things that you share with your family. For example, house, food, entertainment, love, happiness, and worries. So these are the things you share with your family members only. You never share these things with anyone outside your family. But there are certain things you share with your neighborhood. Now let's see what are these. For example, space. It can be an area around your house. Water. Air. Transport. Sharing a transport means, um, for example, you and your school fellows come to school in the same van. You are, that means you are sharing the same transport parks of course it is your favorite place to go in the evening and enjoy also your neighbors like to go there security it is provided to you by the local police stations around your house 
and then come streets so these are some of the things that we share with our neighbors and they are called services so services are provided to you and your community members to keep the community running efficiently to understand this concept further let's go on to the page number 25 of your book and read this table here are some of the things we share with others i will read them one by one for you schools school is a place where you go for learning streets you share streets with your neighbors and other people to go from one place to another shops it is a place where you go and buy things bank it is a place where you keep your money for safety purpose hospitals it is a place you go to for a treatment when you are sick parks you go to when you want to play and have some entertainment post offices it is a place where we post our letters and their job is to deliver that letter to the respective person to whom we have written the letter police stations it is a place where you, we report when something illegal happens in a community public transport i have explained you in previous slide that what is a transport and public transport is for general common people of the community electricity water then the drains museums it is a place where old historical things are kept libraries it is a place where we have a good collection of books and we can go and read them whenever we want markets the air we breathe roads footpaths footpath is a place where we can only walk it is not allowed for other forms of traffic to go telephones petrol stations colleges clinics gas stations and airports so these are the services you can see in your neighborhood and near your school also so we share all these services with our community members but the point is that we have to share them in a good proper way and also take care for them some of the services like the air we breathe the rain that falls the sunshine that brightens the day are services provided to us by the nature we don't have to pay for them they are free of cost so they are called unpaid services but there are some of the services we have to pay for them like electricity telephones every month we pay electricity and telephone bills petrol stations and schools and they are called paid services so children services are the facilities for all of us to use and we have to pay for some of the services now let's revise again services are the facilities provided to the people of community and they are for all of us to use there are two types of services public services and private services let's discuss them one by one public services public services are the services that are for everyone to use for example security provided by the police water supplied to our homes telephone and gas government hospitals post offices public schools airports whereas private services they belong to someone they are not for everyone to use for example private security firms private schools private hospitals example al shifa international hospital so the key difference between the two types of services is public services are for everyone to use whereas private services they are 
not for everyone to use they belong to someone also private services always charge higher than public services up till now we have learned that all the people living in a community are provided with different kinds of services to live their life smoothly and also that they have to pay for some of the services so the money they pay is known as tax the exact definition of tax is it is the collection of money given by the people of community to the government to run the expenses of public services for example house tax property tax car tax and road tax and also we pay telephone gas and electricity bills every month so the point is that what do they do with this tax what do they do with this money what is the purpose of tax collection so this tax is used to pay community helpers such as street cleaners postmen firefighters and phone line men they are the community helpers for example street cleaner they come and clean the streets postman their job is to deliver our letters to the respective person on time firefighters their job is to uh, put out the fire if there is any fire in the building similarly phone line men they come and correct the phone lines if needed so all of them are the community helpers and they are not doing their jobs free of cost they are paid for this work so their payment is done through this money okay so we should always appreciate the work done by public service organizations and we should act responsibly to keep them working by paying our tax regularly following the organization rules and not misusing the facilities what is a government the group of people with the authority to govern a country or a state now the point is that how they are chosen to govern a country there is a system behind it now let's find it what is that system that is the system of collection the process of national elections are held after every 5 years to elect the government people of the community give votes to their selected representatives from the different parties and the party with most votes form a new government the last elections were held in year 2018 and imran khan was elected as the prime minister of pakistan the job of government is to collect tax from the people of the community and provide them services and build schools colleges roads bridges and dams and run the state affairs now let's conclude the lesson the members of the government makes rules for us and decide how much tax is to be paid by using this tax government provides its community members with different kinds of services and runs the country we should vote for persons who will make fair and useful rules for all and similarly we must also become responsible loyal and law abiding citizens of pakistan now this is your homework do silent reading of the lesson that will further help you clarify your concepts and in the second part of the video you will get the answers of the questions and work pages from the exercise i hope you understand everything thank you and allah